वेलकम बैक टू द थर्टीन लेक्चर ऑफ अवर वेब डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग चैट जिपटी एंड रूबी ऑन रिल्स कोर्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट सी एस यू फाइल टू क्रिएट एक्टिव रिकॉर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन बल्क ओके नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी वी लर्न हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट एंड वॉट आर द ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट ओके एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट इट फॉर अ रिसोर्स इन आवर रिल्स एप्लीकेशन एंड वी विल यूज चैट जिपटी entirely to do this functionality okay so first of all we need to ask chat gpt that what is restful api so we can do here uh, for example just type a question what is restful api okay so when you ask to the chat gpt that uh, uh, what are the restful api so it will give you the key principles of the apis and it will give you the basic definition of it okay and you can just go through the response and you can try to understand each and every characteristics or the principle of the restful apis from chat gpt here and if you don't know like uh, uh, how to understand any specific characteristic for example let's say how to understand this statelessness in the more detail or what is the difference between statelessness and stateful okay for example let's say give me the detailed description of statelessness okay for example you are not able to understand that what is stateless from briefly from those two three lines then you can ask chat gpt here you can see that it will explain this statelessness in the more detail that uh, independent request scalability caching flexibility and reliability and the first point was the, like uh, no client session okay and there is also there is also a term like stateful so you can ask for the difference that uh, what is the difference between statelessness and statefulness and when you ask this question then chat gpt will uh, explain both the things with the example and uh, some definition and characteristics okay and you can go through that so this is what i am telling you that very basic of the restful apis like what it is what are its key principle or characteristics and if you have difficulty or doubt in other understanding any of these things you can just go through the chat gpt and you can call to explain that okay and in that case you do not have to diversify yourself into multiple resources or multiple blogs or videos on the youtube or the blogs on the internet okay you can just simply ask everything on the chat gpt and it will help you now we will ask chat gpt that we have an employee model with these these attributes and we want to create a resource for performing crud operations using api and a name space api then we will how then how we can do that okay so first of all let's say chat gpt that uh, first of all go to the terminal and here you can say that uh, i have these attributes in the employee table okay that uh, i have a rails application with an employee model and the employee model has following attributes and i want to perform crud using api controller can you please guide me how to achieve that okay and as soon as you submit your question then chat gpt will tell you that how you need to do that or how you need to go for that okay so when you do that let's finish this response first okay so here you can see that implement controller actions that is in your app controllers api v1 controller first we need to generate the api controller but sorry <laughs> we just need to go to the first step that is we need to set up the route and this is how we can set up the route for our controller and that should be the name space and why name space because we already defined resource employees for our full step application which is this okay so here you can see that here we have uh, 
the employee list okay and this when you refresh the page or when you visit this page it sends a request on the index section of the employees controller okay so that is for the full stack now we want it for the api application sorry for the api controller so we need to name space our resource so we can simply copy this name space api v1 okay and then what we can do we can simply go to the our project directory and open the routes file and in the routes file what we can do we can paste this name space okay and then we need to create a employees controller for our api so what we can do here that we can simply call to the rails that uh, rails g controller and then api v1 employees okay and when you hit this command you can see that it will create a controller for you in the api v1 employees directory okay and it has uh, we already defined the namespace into our routes file and now we generated the employees controller now we need to place the action in it so just go to the third step where it has implemented the rails controller okay so what we can do we can copy everything within the controller okay so just within the controller okay and now just paste everything within this class okay so here you can see we just need to indent it correctly so there might be an extra end make a more one more step towards the indentation okay so this is the extra end and delete it so now you can see that what it is showing before action set employee show update destroy okay and why not edit because we do not have edit action into the api endpoint because we will never see the form when we send a request to the api okay we can only see the request which serve the records from the backend so we will not uh, we will not create actions for new and edit action for our resource in as an api okay and here you can see that index action what is showing employee dot all and then it is rendering the employee data as the json format same in show create update and destroy action okay however you can see that it is not showing in the employee create action and update action and destroy action that after performing it is not showing any message so we can add those messages at our end so what we can do here simply let's say that employee created successfully successfully and then we can send use the similar message for the update that uh, employee updated successfully and for the create we can also do render json employee deleted successfully okay save it and now we need to test the this api endpoint into the postman okay so if you don't know what is postman so postman is a tool to test the apis into the development or production environment and you can simply check the response in the postman okay so now what we need to do that uh, we will use the postman here to test these api endpoints and here you can see that we already defined the api endpoints in the resource now let's go through the chat gpt again and then here you can see that how you can test your api endpoints so first we will use get api v1 employees to retrieve all employees okay so what we will do just copy this url that is api v1 employees okay and if you are not lazy you can just type it here <laughs> so open the postman okay and here what we need to do localhost colon 3000 slash sorry employees or you can simply paste it here okay api v1 employees okay and now you just need to hit the send button when you hit the send button you can see that this is showing you the employees record here like this is the data okay so now we have 1000 
employees in our database and you, we can see it like this okay so it is showing the each employee in the json format simply you can look for the employee let's say employee with id 10 okay let's say there is some error okay actually i resetted the database so that's why i don't have these id 1 and 2 so for example let's use id 1005 okay so here you can see that this is the record for the user uh, employee with id 1005 similarly you can send the request for delete operation as well for example let's convert it to delete request so you can see this drop down here you can see your request type so the gate is only used for the information retrieval so you see that we get the request of a single employee and all the employees okay now we will use delete request to delete a employee from the database so make some space into the terminal and now we are going to see an error into our controller okay so when you click on the send okay in the postman you will see an error and when you go to the terminal you will see an error that is can't verify csrf token authenticity okay so now it is fall into the status code 422 that which is unprocessable entity okay so what we need to do here we need to define in our api controller that skip before action verify authenticity token okay and when you have this line that means whenever you send a request to the apis controller it will skip the csrf authenticity token check okay so when you save this and click on the send button in the postman now okay click on send you will see that the employee deleted successfully from the database and the delete operation has been performed now for example if you want to fetch the detail of this employees 1005 you can see that it is showing you an error okay but instead of error we should show some json format response here because it is not a good practice to display the error response in the html format okay because if you go to the terminal you will see that the error like that record not found with employee id 1005 okay so what we can do here we can handle it in application sorry employees controller in the set employee method that is rescue record okay and you can see that this is the same exception this is raised by the active record so you can just make the correct spelling copy this and paste it here okay and then error and then render json message is error dot message okay save this and now send this request from the postman so when you click on the send now you will see that couldn't find employee with id 1005 so this is how you can handle the exception in your controllers as well okay so this is what we are talking about now let's try to submit a response to create an employee or to submit a request to create an employee using the postman okay so first we will try with the update action okay and here you can see that what are the employees from so employee so first we need to create a hash with the name employee so let's first try to find a record with id 6 1006 so this is the record now what we will do that we will just copy this response and now we will use uh, let's say put for this one or let's say patch for this one to update it and then we need to use the body parameter and here we will send the data in the raw format and now first we need to create employee and then we need to use this okay and let's uh, select all these things and correct it 
so now we can remove this id attribute and created it updated it from here okay because we don't want to update these attributes we will simply update the first name email and so on okay so what we can do let's say Ravi Singh and last name let's say Kashyap okay and let's keep rest of the attributes as it is okay now when you say click on the send button you can see that the information has been updated for this employee with id 106 and you can see this on the terminal as well that this request has been processed by employees controller update as json okay and now let's try the create action so we can just use post from here the action tab and then re uh, remove the id from here because the post will be api v1 employees okay and now we need to use the data here so we can just keep it undo here and then just change the email okay let's say rsing at the rate example.com and let's say contact number is okay and now click on the send button when you click on the send you can see that a new employee has been created with the name Ravi Singh, Kashyap, email is rsing at the rate example.com. Okay. And now if you want to see the errors with that, whether this is a validation error or not, and when you click on the send button, you will see an error that email has already been taken. Okay. So this is how the API works and you can test it on the postman. And you see here that we just generated everything from the chat GPT. And one more thing here that we just used the default actions or we just implemented the api endpoint for the crud operation only like index show update destroy and create okay now in the next lecture we will see that how we can create api endpoints for our custom methods for example importing a csv so we will see that how we can upload a csv file from the postman okay so that's all for this lecture. So try to go through this, try to understand what are the API key terms, characteristics or principles, and also try to implement the employees resource controller in the API format. Okay. And we will meet into the next lecture by learning how to upload files using Postman for the API. Okay. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.